so I've been recording videos on this channel for over a year now the Via Hafta almost every day and some other prayers now the Shivananda Arati and this experience of recording has mostly been an emotional experience for me, I think. Uh, most of the time I use this channel as a way to release emotion that, that I've been feeling. Um, and there are, there's a story that I recorded about three weeks ago or two weeks ago called The Tower Dream that, um, that comes across really clearly, I think I'm crying through most of it. Um, so that's, that's a central motivation in, in doing this channel is, is, is a kind of personal catharsis and, and personal connection with the infinite that I think that repetition, prayer repetition can produce. Um, but I wanted to make this video not about that or not, not as emotionally laden. I'm not going to be singing in this video. I want to try to motivate a little bit more abstractly, more academically, I suppose, why I am doing this this way. Because there are, there are many spiritual practices that, that I could be practicing. So, so why am I choosing to repeat prayers? And furthermore, why am I choosing to repeat prayers on YouTube? You know, why am I recording the same video <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of times? What's the point? Why, why am I asking Google to store all of this data for me? Um, so that's what this video is about. This video is about why why this channel for those of you who might want to know so basically the the one sentence answer to that question is that i have an idea about the way that meaning gets made and that idea is that meaning is made through repetition so in order to unpack what that means, meaning is made through repetition. First of all, I just repeated it. And uh, second, we're going to have to dive into the word meaning. What does meaning mean? So that's, that's the second idea. I have an idea about how meaning is made, that meaning is made through repetition. But it's also an idea about what meaning is. And that idea is that meaning is identity, meaning is self, that, that at a fundamental level you can't separate who I am from what I mean. Um, or there's another way of saying this from Malidoma Somme's book uh, of Water and the Spirit, where he says, meaning is being. Meaning is being. Um, so these are pretty, uh, pretty dense little mimetic claims. Meaning is being. <laughs> what does that mean? Meaning is self. Meaning is made through repetition. I'm repeating them because I don't really know what they mean. And I think the only way to unpack what they mean is to repeat them and repeat them until until the, 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 the circling of them, the, the layers upon layers of half meanings come together to produce a full meaning. Um, so if you follow that somewhat of a syllogism, that metaphorical syllogism, right? If meaning is made through repetition and meaning is identity, then therefore the self is made through repetition that's the claim the self is made through repetition of the self um so yeah 
this idea gets even more complicated now. I'm five minutes in and this idea gets even more complicated because I want to ground it in biology. So, you know, I want to talk about genomes and, and the relationship of the genome to the self and, and what it means to repeat the genome, to reproduce the genome. Um, so there's, there's all of that. So I'm going to get to that soon. But before I do that, I just, I, I want to dwell here for, for a moment longer and tell you about this prayer. This be a Hafta prayer that I repeat every day and I have written on my wall over my head when I sleep, right? That's a statement. So I want to try to tell you what that statement means. Um, so there's, there's two videos that will try to tell you what that statement means. One I made about a year ago, over a year ago. I made it last June, two Junes ago. Um, and so I'm gonna upload that video to this channel because it wasn't on this channel before, it was on my other channel. So I'm gonna upload that video to this channel right after this one. And then I'm also gonna record another video right this moment of, of me reading this prayer in English and explaining a bit about what it means. So you can watch those two videos, they'll complement each other. One is going to be very well edited, the other one is going to be more like this. And so that'll, that'll give you some idea of why I'm repeating this prayer in particular. And then, after that, I'll record another video about genomes and the relationship of the genome with the self. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you soon.